Hey, I'm Noah Kravitz for the NVIDIA blog, and I'm here at the Verizon 4G LTE press conference at CS 2011 in Las Vegas, Nevada. And uh, I've got here, this is a non-final pre-production unit, but uh, it is the Motorola Droid Bionic. It is um, the 4G evolution, if you will, of the Droid series. Droid Bionic, powered by NVIDIA Tegra 2 on the inside. It's got this um, massively high-resolution QHD screen, which uh, even more pixels than you're used to. Uh, it's going to run Android. This isn't final software. This is, um, you know, it's, it's not indicative, but you can see. It's a touch screen. It works. Uh, probably going to run 2.2 when it comes out, but nothing, you know, confirmed on that. Dual cameras, front and back. It's got um, HDMI out, a mini HDMI port on the side, as well as, you know, your USB and your 3.5mm uh, headphone jack and all that good stuff you're used to. But uh, they shut off Skype mobile. Uh, video calling looks very promising. I know some folks have been using the, uh, the Verizon LTE network here for data use at the show, and they've been getting really good speeds. So, you know, between uh, the dual cameras, the Tegra chip on the inside, the, Skype, the new Skype app, and then also, of course, the, uh, the 4G network rolling out across the land for Verizon. A lot of promise in this one for uh, all you NVIDIA fans. So there you go. It's the Droid Bionic. Again, it'll be available in the coming months from Verizon and Motorola, powered by NVIDIA. For the NVIDIA blog, I'm Noah Kravitz, live from CES 2011 in Las Vegas.